So we unlocked a good bit of the map in yesterday's video here on Te Auroa National Park, but there's still a good bit of the map that we haven't yet seen, even though I actually played a good bit after the video as well. So, for instance, we have this little lake that we're heading to right now, which, from what I can tell in the beta, is pretty much just a chamois lake. There's some areas down here in Sika territory, pretty much down here in the southeast is untouched, so fallow deer, feral pig, that could definitely be something to look at. And these two, which I think were mostly fallow deer lakes, from what I could tell in the beta as well, so... That's what I want to focus on today, just kind of getting the rest of the map unlocked and seeing what we've missed. The wind is just awful here, but I think there's more chamois at this lake than we had on the beta. And there was another one, I didn't even see this guy. Oh, there's even more down here. So this might be a way better spot than it was, but this is the one that I had seen that goes up to 56. So that's not going to have any chance at diamond, but... Definitely the best one. I actually haven't dropped a lot of them. They're quite resilient, even though they're pretty small animals. They're going to come straight up through here, I guess. If we can, because they kind of stop a lot. We might try to get one of these. I don't know if they're going to just sprint past us. I mean, if that's the case, we'll just let them go. I don't want to track any. I don't know if we saw that one before. There's actually at least 10 or 15 down here. That's a, another four. Maybe he'll stop for us. I guess that works just as well. Just ran till he decided he was good. It's going to be a tough shot. I actually like that that happens. It's a little bit weird. Missed that. <laughs> I don't know if he was dead the entire time. And I'm not sure if they're trying to capture, like, when you hunt animals in the mountains and hit them and they fall down, like, a lot of times they're probably not going to get back up. So maybe that's what that is. It's a little bit odd how they just slide along, but I wasn't even sure that we got along there and wanted to make sure, but he kind of dropped as if we did. And after all that, he's still just a silver by point one, and I can't... Oh, because I'm on the second shot. I couldn't get him to, like, stand properly, because we did shoot him just lying on his side, and we needed that because the first shot was just vertebrae. So that even saved the silver on him. Not a shot that I can say I've taken before, quite honestly, but there's a lodge right up here. We'll get that. And then it's almost Sika Deer drink time. So we'll probably go and check out this lake. And I want to do, like, the coast up here because I ran it a bit. I actually think it was in multiplayer. I'm not sure I've even checked here on my own map. But the coast in the beta was quite good. Finally, we actually have a Sika Deer out here. We went to the southern lake there. There was nothing there. And even this little tiny lake here, which has been really good had nothing. There were some feral pigs back here, but I didn't want to shoot anything because that lake's been good. And, uh, just nothing at all there. And I did actually realize that I was off by about a half hour on the Sika zones. I've noticed that with several of the species on this map. They seem to have, like, zones that start, like, say, for the Sika deer, it's 8.30 instead of 8. So, the late zones are actually 9 o'clock. And, like I said, there's other species that are like that as well. I think the feral goats are maybe a 9.30 and 10, instead of what would normally be like either 9 and 9.30 or 10 and 10.30. I'm pretty sure this is the first map that's really done that, but it's kind of starting to make sense more and more why animals seem to be slow getting into their zones. I'm just glad we got something finally, because I was starting to get worried that maybe Sika weren't down here anymore. Like maybe they changed from the beta, but it might have been a timing thing, or maybe there just, just isn't as many on my map. But maybe we are actually getting somewhere here, because it's not been too far since the last Sika. We have another one here. I'm not sure if that's the red spotted fur type or just the normal spotted. I definitely like both of them, but I can't actually tell the difference between the two, at least not from a distance. And he's just normal spotted, so I'm not really sure what there is to look for. But I think if I could just pick a fur type as far as what to get a diamond Sika of, it would be either this or the black. I just really like the black fur type as well. But it's all just been like bucks by themselves in a zone. All level 3 so far and just not really all that impressive, but I think that's the same fur type. There's maybe a little less brown up at his neck. If it is different at all, I think that's what I would notice, but it could just be the distance that made it look that way. Maybe that actually is it. So is this going to be the red spotted then? It is. So that's maybe what to look for. The normal spotted head like more of a brown neck and head. So that could be it. But that is our first gold seeker deer. And as we're kind of getting up to the end of this spot, 
you can see I've discovered this area up here, but I did all that in multiplayer, and it actually is a really good uh, feral goat spot, so we're going to go up there and check that, but as we head over there, since we just shot the other two spotted variants of Sika Deer, I want to go ahead and throw a multiplayer kill into this video of the dark spotted fur type. I just about spooked this guy. He was all the way to alarmed when I saw him, but there is a level 5 Sika out there. I think that's the dark spotted fur type, and he looks huge. He's 196 to 237, which means his bottom of the estimate is too below the minimum for diamonds, so I think he could be a really good one. He's finally just calming down and moving off as we go for a shot there, so we'll kind of scoot over here slowly. Get a good look at the antlers on him, and since he's slow into a walk, well, maybe we can get a shot in there. He's kind of slowing down really briefly. I think it's best we alert him just to be sure that he's going to stay still, but that's the first five I've seen, and it looks honestly quite impressive. But we can just drop him there, and that looks so cool. The tops, I don't know if it's crowns on a Sika, I know it is for Red Deer. It's almost like a crown up there, and it looks really nice. I've never seen them, like, tip over like that. I've been trying to get a screenshot, and whatever it is, a minute after we took our shot there, he actually fell over? I've never seen that, but let's see. He is a 214, so almost a solid 20 above diamond. Dark spotted diamond Sika deer. They look so cool. I actually just about messed that up. Pretty far forward in the lung. I didn't even notice that, but it worked out. We'll send him to the Trophy Lodge, and I don't know for sure, I'll have to look, but I'd say there's a good chance one of the many diamond axes here that weren't all that uh, uncommon are going to come down. So I mentioned it earlier on in the video that if I could choose a fur type to get a diamond seek of, it would either be the red spotted, the normal spotted, or the black. And of course we get the spotted variant that is lower down on my list of favorites with the dark spotted, but they all look good, I don't really have a problem with that. And uh... It was a pretty big one, actually, at 214, so pretty cool, and I'm actually looking forward to getting into the Trophy Lodge with that, but I've noticed with this area that I mentioned that tends to be good for feral goats, it also seems to be good specifically for female Sika Deer. That's the third drink zone I have for them along here. The other two are back this way. There's never any bucks here, and I don't understand why. It's really odd. There's another herd right there. All females. I just... I don't have a clue why that is. Maybe that's actually why it seems like there's a lot of bucks in other areas because all the females are over here, but that's been a thing I've noticed the couple of times I've come down here. I have lost count of how many zones there are of female Sika Deer along here. It is insane, but we finally have a goat zone as well. And when I did this in multiplayer, I think I saw three or four goat zones along here, and maybe I just missed them. But on my map, at least from what I could see, there just seems to be the one here at the end, which at least makes it easy to check. And that guy, I think, is the biggest, or at least the highest estimate. It's got to be almost definitely bigger than that guy, so when he stops walking away and stops the drinking, we should be able to get a shot at him. Though to be honest, I'm not sure he's going to stop. I don't know where he's going, but he seems to be on a mission. And we kind of got over here where we at least sort of have him broadside. Now he's turning back, of course. But I think before he does anything else... We'll just kind of get a shot right there in the front of the chest. That might have somehow missed the lungs. I feel like we'd have been good. And honestly, we did not do a good job there, but at least it'll get him. That kind of went a little bit uh, worse than I was hoping. But at least he didn't get all that far. He definitely would have been a gold. I Maybe we did just aim too low? The beard kind of makes it a little bit difficult to tell where the chest is, so that might have just been the issue there, because I thought we didn't get penetration, but I think we just shot through the beard and aimed too low, and then we got vertebrae to help bring him down, but that wasn't exactly the goat paradise that I was hoping for that I felt like I saw in multiplayer, but at least we got something out of that. And I think we'll go and check the couple of lakes for fallow deer first, and then we'll probably wrap up with the feral pigs on the southeast coast. Ever since this map kind of got announced and we knew what species were going to be on it, I've had a lot of plans for like what I wanted to do as far as getting stuff for the trophy lodge and like what I wanted to go after and one thing that I didn't consider being this good 
was the fallow hunting on this map. They are just all over the place, and I think I'm gonna probably do some kind of fallow deer grind. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do for it yet, or like where I'm gonna hunt. I gotta like really figure out where I wanna do it. But there's so many on this map, and I feel like if we've really tried, there's a good chance we could get something for the multi mount. So whether it's like a higher scoring, either ideally piebald or melanistic, because we do have the albino from the mission, or just more diamonds in general, a rare diamond would be really cool. But just the amount of fallow deer on this map and the places they are and the ease of hunting them, I just think that's something that is probably worth working for. But anyway, just a little silver for that guy. I think he was 160 max and he's 159.7, but still not enough to make gold. And I think when I came here in the beta, there were other zones here. That guy doesn't look too bad. I think we'll just go ahead and try to get in from here. That's the nice thing about the 303. It's super reliable pretty much any range I've shot. It hits exactly where I expect it to and I was really surprised when we did the comparison with the M1. It's like it's bringing down animals more quickly and that's something I always like because trying to track animals down you never know sometimes tracks kind of are a little bit weird and they just aren't there. So the less guesswork that's involved or just the less time spent tracking in general even when it does work in my opinion the better but yeah definitely not a bad buck 198 and i just think i'm not sure for the lakes whether or not i'd want to spend a lot of time grinding for them because a lot of them are kind of big and trying to get all the way around them is kind of time consuming but if there's going to be fallow there i guess we're going to have to work on those but the river especially and from what i saw pretty much all the water down in this area can have them and I think the other lake that we got to get to is this one. I'm pretty sure there's fallow deer there too. They're just so all over. I feel like we'd have to get all the spots. This is kind of the problem I have with like hunting the lakes though, because it's so easy to spook them and there are just a lot of them in here and we'd end up missing out on a good bit. But that guy was max weight estimate, so I figured we'd take him. I don't know where that dude just came flying out of, but that would be a tough shot with him going up that hill. I don't think I want to add any unnecessary tracking for a level three but I mean you can miss stuff very easily I just think honestly it's mostly a good thing like I think if it's too easy like the grind wouldn't be worth it in the end I think this map has a pretty good balance of the fact that there's a lot of them and they're in pretty huntable spots but it's not just like mindless sort of spotted location shoot them and move on but I looked over a minute ago and I realized that I've been going for an hour and a half and had no idea. Like, I don't know if I can give this map a better compliment than the fact that I just got absolutely lost and didn't realize how long it's been taken, but we might actually be wrapping this video up without checking for feral pigs because I want to get down here and check that last fallow lake, and we're pretty much to the end of their drink time on this map, so I want to go and do that, and then that might be it. Well, that's not what I thought was going to happen when I heard a warning call, but... Why not? I think that might have been the only male. Actually, there might have been another one out front there. Another three. He'll probably slow down to where we can get a decent shot at him. I don't like shooting when they're doing that because I feel like there's too much of an opportunity to shoot above or below the lungs because of the way they run. But once they really slow to a trot, that's not a big deal. So this guy we got double lung, I don't know if there's spinal cord in there, but definitely vertebrae. Even a gold at less than 7 meters. But that might have been useful for a response. It kind of depends how good this lake is. I'm not sure why. I know, like, I was down here on the beta and I'm pretty sure I even checked it, like, during feral pig drink time. I want to say if I remember right that I had a fallow deer drink zone like on either end here and a pig drink zone up on that side, but I don't know why I never really visited here more than that once, so... If the spot's good, it might be worth having those couple of pigs there for respawns sometime. Ooh. See, now I'm gonna have to go and check for that, too. I wanted to see what was going on for Fallow Deer over here. Definitely a couple of decent bucks, too. One up to 216. Couple of max weight ones. I really want to know what that pig is. None of these Fallow are huge. I mean, pigs run really slowly, so even if we did actually spook him, we could probably shoot one of these and it's not going to cost us that much. Just want to make sure there's nothing else down here, which there is. Ooh. 251 to 303. That is the biggest fallow estimate I've ever seen. 
And before he goes anywhere, we're just gonna drop that. What the heck? I can't even believe that. The estimate just blew my mind as well when I saw that up to 300? I've never seen a fallow deer anywhere near that. So forget about those ones. Not even gonna, not even gonna bother with that. I want to know what this guy scores. I'm pretty sure I have two that were either 271 or 273. That guy looks just massive, and I know Diamond is 251, so he is a guarantee to make it. He is actually only 264, so not my biggest. Definitely could shout with the 303 double lung and liver. I really thought he might have been just absolutely giant at first, like 280s or something, which I can't say I've ever seen. I don't know how big they even get, but that was not what I thought was going to happen at all. I thought maybe we might have a level 5 pig, which you never know, but that is something we're definitely going back for because maybe this area just has all the uh, high level stuff, but that was a nice thing to uh, run into. It's going to seem weird, but I'm almost glad that he's just a 4 because he's definitely my least favorite fur type for them. Kind of surprised we dropped that, but He's the dark brown, and I'm still confused about that, because some on the beta, which as far as I can tell have the exact same fur type, were called brown hybrid, and some were dark brown, and they're basically, the best way I can describe it is the common for wild boar. They kind of have like the almost gold colored face, and the rest of their body's kind of like a dark brown or black, but I don't know what the difference is, or maybe they're just like improperly labeled sometimes. But yeah, I mean, probably the least interesting looking uh, variation for the feral pig. So if we were going to get a five, that's definitely not a fur type that I want. So when I saw that disturb veg, I uh, was kind of almost hoping that he wouldn't be. But after all that, we still have to go back to the trophy lodge for our fallow deer. And also for the seeker deer, which I actually have not put up there yet. I really don't know enough about axis deer or seeker deer to say whether or not this would be correct, but... I feel like the axis to your dwarfing the Sika that much might be a little bit off. So I don't know if I want to actually keep them in the same room like long term, but eventually I kind of want to redo everything. But you can really see the size difference there. The axis to your, of course, got scaled up a couple of months ago, and I almost wonder if the Sika deer need the same. But just to look at him for a minute, I actually really like it. I think it is probably a little bit unrealistically large, but that's kind of the line I feel like they need to walk in this game. Like, just enough to where you can believe that it could happen. And it looks good. Like I said in the video, maybe not my favorite fur type with the dark spotted. But it was cool to see just the five. That was the main thing I kind of focused on in multiplayer yesterday, and finally getting one was pretty cool. And then speaking of level five, something I did not expect at all today was that fallow deer. And I mean, we killed one in the beta, so I felt like I used up all my fallow deer luck during that, but we got another one today. And I think he might be the smallest in the lodge at this point at 264. When I saw that estimate, I really thought maybe he was extra wide or something was going to reach 280. And again, I don't even know if that's possible, but I had taken down the albino blacktail. It was a gold that we put with the, I think it was the big diamond mountain lion we killed recently. So this plaque was just empty and it was nice to actually feel that again. But yeah, making trophy lodge additions already off of Te Aoroa National Park. And, uh slowly filling up this lodge more and more but anyway that is gonna do it for this video so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time